Hello guys, it's me Pixel Concept and today I'm here with a special video. A few weeks ago someone asked me if I could do uh, a bit of a tutorial on C4D. On Cinema, Cinema 4D, to, uh, yeah, you know. Um, and I hadn't time for, the, uh, for it at, at the moment, but now I have. So here I am doing a tutorial. Um, this will be a tutorial on uh, most, uh, most of that... Mo Will be a tutorial on a bit of uh, the modeling of uh, a character. Uh, not not really modeling, just extruding and uh, placement and stuff. I'm not really good at it, but I could try to make something out of it. Uh, for this tutorial, I'll be using the FMR5 uh, uh, Refix Edit. I think it's a really awesome, uh, really awesome rig to, to use. I've used it in a lot of um, other, uh, a lot of banners I made recently. And yeah, I'm going to use it right for this. Um, before we start here uh, with uh, anything about extruding and stuff, you have to go to the right, um, li like uh, totally on the right. There's two things like adjust uh, attributes. I uh, have to read it actually, and layers. And you click on layers, and you find a 5.0 body, and that one is locked, as you can see. Click on the lock. And it will be turned grey. Now you are, um, yeah, fully uh, up uh, the road. No, not really. You open up the FMR with a little plus on the side, and open up head. Um, this, by the way, this will be a very basic tutorial. Just if, if you don't know anything about um, uh, using a rig, then this will be a nice tutorial for you. But what we're going to do first is give this um, uh, give this uh, rig another skin, a different skin. Uh, let's go to uh, and find the skins. What's a nice skin to work with right now? I'll just use this one. I think it's a nice, nice skin. Yeah. Uh, and we are going to uh, you. You, you have to find the extru extrude mesh head and the two red dots. You have to click them both and then just take it out to the side or um, maybe it's even better to do it to the other side and the extrude mesh uh, head like the thing you put on your head um, to the other side that's the most easy thing to do right now then on the total left you have all these um, these options to go to go with you have the, the points the edges and the polygons and you have to press polygons for now um, if you're a perfectionist, you can uh, go select all the empty, uh, empty polygons and delete them. But we don't have to do that. What we want to do is we go want to extrude this. So um, in order to select, we have to go to the uh, live selections up in top, up in the top right here, as you can see, and um, just select everything by just clicking on it and holding your uh, left mouse button, and just select everything. Um, uh, yeah, for the easy of this uh, easy thing in the video, we can select them. Uh, what's the, what's it called actually? I don't know what it, what it's actually called. Uh, we can extrude this one at the same time. So we hold Shift, uh, so the other selections doesn't uh, doesn't get replaced. And we go around and select everything. We're not going to select uh, this right here. This will only make it look more ugly, I think, in my opinion. And then we have to press D, and the live selections um, okay, here extrude. You get the thing here like extrude. If this doesn't pop up for you, you have probably still turned this one on layers. So get back to attributes, uh, get to extrude. The maximum angle you have to put that one on uh, 91. And the offset on 1.5. I, I like to use 1.5. You can use literally everything you want, actually. And then just press apply or enter. By the way, if you're um, asking yourself how I'm going around like this and uh, doing all the movements, but, uh, if you watch other people's video, you probably see them go to these four little uh, things up in the uh, right top of the uh, viewing panel. I'll just like to use shortcuts. I'll use I press Alt if I want to go around an object, and I use one to just um, to, uh, to swipe around them. I think it's called. 
too for zooming but I don't use zooming too often actually and I still don't know really know what 3 will do I think it's yeah it's for, for um, rotating my cam my view but we don't want to do that <coughs> uh, okay so the hair and um, this thing I don't, I don't I don't know what's called are extruded right now and but the hair still looks a little bit flat so what we're going to do is we're going to select some random blocks and we're going to extrude it even more oh, wait so like this I think this looks nice by the way if you're asking yourself how I um, deselected all of these it's fairly easy press control and click on the polygons you want to deselect I had a lot of trouble with this actually what you also can do if you want to uh, make it look a bit more um, uh, random, you can hold control and press this um, red angle thing and you can do everything you want with it. So you can make a very high uh, haircut if you want, if you want to. It's, 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 some, it's something nice. Look, it's, it's a bit more random, like get angles around here. Just, it's just fun to play with. And you can use every um, every of these, every one, everything. Yeah, just fairly easy. It can go up and down right now. It makes it a bit more creative, I think. So um, go around and select some of these. Uh, I'll just go for the D option again. We it looks it looks awesome. It looks fun. Cool. Um, if you want to be totally creative, you can get the edges of these. Um, oh man, I, I, need, I need to know this name. Now, after this, we don't need the name anymore. Uh, get the edges, so it makes uh, it gets a little bit more depth, 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 depth. You know what I mean? Gets a little more depth in it. Um, yeah, just for fun. Mm, so what I want to do right now is actually put this back first, so we get to the. Uh, model um, thing here on the left click it so you can uh, move it around where you want place it on the head and as you can see it's a bit too, a bit too big for the head so you can go press T as a shortcut and you can make it a little bit smaller yeah it's looking it's looking better right now so here we got um, uh, the extrude mesh head uh, head 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 I think it's head um, and you enable this one if you want to um, uh, have the no normal eyes instead of the, the nice uh, eyes that's come included in the rig I'm most of the time I'll use um, mesh head because I just prefer uh, I'll, I'll like it above um, the normal eyes, the eyes that come included in the rig so I enable it and maybe I e remove some around the mouth if I want to so I can use the mouth but you, as you can see you can see the eyes underneath it so I won't do that and get just the cyto pack I think it was a cyto pack wasn't it? and no it wasn't a cyto pack I don't know which pack it was but that come included with a few micros mouths or you can, or you can make some uh, on your own for your own that's very easy to just just fun to use with the pen tool I'll explain maybe I'll explain it later in the Photoshop tutorial if you guys want a Photoshop tutorial by the way leave that in the comments behind should be very awesome for me to do I'm not very good at Photoshop but what I'm doing right now actually is I'm opening the mesh um, mesh folder here and in the mesh folder I'm opening mesh body by the way um, if I'm doing things wrong I probably do because I don't know any fucking shit about uh, C4D. I'm just doing the things I learned on the internet. <laughs> I've never have done anything on my ex done anything on myself actually. So but we can see he got a jacket. We could use the uh, flash jacket trick for this but I'm not a really big fan of using the uh, jacket tricks because uh, most of the time I fail with them. But um, we can see a jacket with a tie and a shirt beneath it. So the tie has to stand out of the uh, shirt. So we select the tie. You guys know how to do that. Press D, and we see the tie gets um, extruded, but it looks like freaking shit. 
So what we want to do is press the K and that opens up the knife tab right here on the uh, right side. You uh, find mode, line and press the drop down menu and select loop. Um, then you have to find just the part you want to um, make uh, a little bit look, uh, look a little bit better. So you can see this. It stops the the the, the polygon stops here, but uh, the color goes over in the other polygon. We don't want that, so we make a cut right after this this line. No, not in the polygon itself, but right after it. As you can see, it it get a little bit uh, yeah put uh, back to place. And we do that for all the sides, every side where it's a little bit yeah wrong. You can say wrong, yeah, and this, yeah, it's really wrong. I don't know actually the whole meaning behind this um, uh, uh, method. That's what the word I was looking for, but it just works. I know it works, and it's awesome. By the way, I'm realizing right now that this is might not be the most ideal thing to work with. Because we have to do some more extruding on this uh, jacket, but it doesn't really matter. So what do we want to do? We get back to the um, just the life selection and select the rest of the jacket because we want to extrude the rest of the jacket too. Uh, might not want to extrude the top because that will go over into the head, and we don't want a jacket in our head. I mean, would you like to have a jacket in your head? I. I personally don't like it, it's just, it bothers me a little bit, it's giving me a headache, but it's totally personal, maybe you like to have a jacket up your, shoved up your head, I don't know, if you do by the way, find help, <laughs> you, you need support man, it's, it's, it's not normal, and you may be like, yeah but I like to do it, just don't, it's not, it's not good for you, I'm sure it's not good for you. Um, by the way, this, uh, the link to this uh, skin will be in the description down below. Uh, just as the, the Lightroom I'm using right now, I'm using the Mondays V3 Lightroom. It's paid by the way, you have to pay for it. But it's not a free one. There are a lot of free um, Lightrooms out there, I'm pretty sure there are. Because I have used some um, free ones before. Because otherwise your render will look like shit. No absolute shit. Maybe your shit looks even better. Better graphics probably. Uh, after you select the jacket, press the D and just apply. It's that easy. Very easy. Nothing to do anymore. And you can see it looks... There is a little bit of space between the jacket and the tie. And that's really gonna stand out. I'm, I'm sure that's gonna stand out actually. This looks like shit. Select more. Uh, can we turn off the head, uh, the arms? I mean, no, we can't. Sh fuck off. Um, so, whoa, I'm clicking everything I don't have to click. Uh, mesh body, yeah, we have to be in mesh body. Um, I don't know if everything is selected. I think it is right now. We'll see. You have to correct everything. It's a lot of uh, trial and error actually doing this. It's, it's not, it's not like very simple to do. But you will learn it after some time and it's just it's just fun. I think it's fun. Now we have to uh, can close the mesh body or maybe not. You can open it and press the uh, yeah, this, these two red, uh, no, not, not colored yet, it's two dots here on the side. The upper one is for the view, um, like editing view and the other one is for render view, the down, uh, down one, the upper one. And just double click the, the upper one, the highest one, so you can not see the mesh body. And then get to the mesh arm on right. And most of the FMR edits are already selecting the upper, the top of the uh, arm. But we don't have to extrude more, so that's what we are going to do now. You have to select more of it. And yeah, let's see. Yeah, we we selected the whole um, the whole sleeve of the jacket. So we press D, 
and apply. And as you can see, it gets a little bit um, off right now. By the way, I select, I click the live selection and unselected everything, deselected, because otherwise you cannot edit with the knife tool. Yeah, I don't have to select anything and do the same thing right here, just on the bit lower. And now it looks a lot better. Do the same thing on the left arm. You always blame yourself, but it was me all along. Rest your head. I'm very quiet right now. I'm just. I don't know if I'm gonna cut out this part or, or if I'm just leave him in. I'll probably leave him in. So we're doing the same thing and select everything, deselect everything, get the knife to okay, and just knife a little bit around. Knife it, knife everything, sheath. Now we get into the legs, and it's better to deselect one of the legs because it's easier to work uh, that way. So select one of the meshes and find the shoe. The shoe is going to stand out of the the trousers probably most of the time. I hope it does. So select everything except for the white part in here. Most of the skins have a little bit of a white part in the shoes. Do the same thing with extruding and uh, find yourself having a bit of a pile of shit right here. So we're going to use the K, the knife tool again and then we're going to select, uh, we're going to cut a little bit on the other side of the polygons. I'm probably using totally wrong vocabulary at the moment, but I don't fucking care. And don't mind me if I swear. I swear a lot actually in real life and it's not a bad thing I think because I recently came across something that uh, a study that said um, people that swear around uh, other people are tended to be more honest and um, yeah just just more honest and respectful to the people that swear when they're around uh, them so if you're around with friends and you swear a lot to them and with them or whatever you do with them you are tended to be more uh, a better, yeah, not a, a bit of a better person, I think. At least that's what study says. So we're doing the same thing again. It can be a little bit um, repetitive after some time, but I find it, um, yeah. For some skins, it's just it's it's easy to do, and other skins are a little bit more um, uh, challenging. Yeah, I think that's the right word for this. So what have we done right now? Let's see. Let's let's back. So we have extruded the hair, which doesn't look uh, perfect yet, by the way, which you can do in a moment. We have extruded the jacket, oh, as you can see, and we have extruded the legs, and I think it looks good. But as as I said, the hair. It's, it's flat, it looks a little bit flat. Um, so we get a uh, mesh head, head, and we are going to select some random pieces of hair. It doesn't matter, it really matter which one they are. No, 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 and there they are and um, they look like look a bit a bit blocky right now so what you can do is add a subdivision surface in the top middle top add subdivision surface drag it down to um, uh, inside the head thing and put extrude, extrude mesh head inside the subdivision surface so what we have here is a little bit more um, uh, fluent Thing. What? No. It looks it looks a little bit better, like a very little bit. What we can do for this is get to the um. Uh, okay. Okay, this has to be. Ah, there you go. Sorry, I was an extrude mesh head. Sorry, my fault. Uh, they look a little bit too um flush with the. A little bit too bobby. What we can do is uh, the subdivision in the editor, subdivision in the renderer. You can put them down. The more uh, subdivisions you add, the more smooth it will look. 
we don't want why don't we don't want it to be that smooth so we can just make this one one subdivision might be more than enough and what you can also do is use k i mean k is amazing like this and i i know guys this is, if, if you want to do this it's going to take a hell of a time no really it's not, i mean maybe even not worth it uh we're gonna drag it out of the subdivision surface and yeah do it like this we're going to leave it like this i mean it looks good enough for me good enough for this tutorial you guys know the drill so now we've got ourselves a nice little um guy right here get back to the modeling uh, mode now what i always do when i'm making renders i'm making a backup just press control and drag one out of it the pc might have some troubles with that uh, if you have a very bad pc but no just yeah <laughs> i don't care um, up in here in window, you have a content browser. You can find content browser all with, with the um, shortcut Shift F8. Um, if you have some packs downloaded, it's it's awesome. You can use them. It's fun. I I think I'm going to use the Onyx Sword pack for this. Just this is a nice sword, and I have the um, blocks and items 3D. I don't know where to. Uh, find this actually I thought I knew it was a good one and uh, I just downloaded every pack I saw on the internet but I don't know exactly where to download them download them again so you probably have to find them if you just type in Minecraft pack C4D or LIB4D you'll find it so we get the blocks um, what block do we like uh, let's see we can use some yeah, go for go for grass it's it's tutorials for tutorial purpose only uh, scale it a bit down and, uh, and make it perfectly on the ground not not perfectly you can do this afterwards but just for this and then you're going to control a lot like a lot select these both and make them like a line perfect not perfect because you, you know the drill um, this will be by the way a very easy um, render it's not like very high quality not very original not very creative I'm going to use a little bit more I'm going to use all the things I think because uh, I don't really like uh, this um, this block I don't like grass nobody likes grass uh, we're going to use a slab which we can downscale a little bit I think I'm going to speed this one up because I'm I, I have an idea by the way. <laughs> so So guys, as you can see, I made a little bit of a, a bridge looking thingy and I also found a little bit, a nice little camera angle. So what we're going to do is we're going to press um, the camera button here on top, which allows to uh, create a camera for us. Now we have to position the rig in place. I think we're going to, oh, 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 just select the rig. It's having a little bit of trouble because my PC is having a little bit of trouble, as you can see. I mean, it's not too easy to rent to have this all worked out for you. I mean, could you, could you, could your brain handle all of this stuff? I don't think it would. So we're going to make it look a little bit nice. I'm going to, I'm selecting all of these uh, purple um, edges. Are, by the way, if you haven't noticed what I'm doing right now. And I'm going to use them uh, for a nice uh, look. Like these foot 
it's a, it's a little bit too high well no I just want to select you put you down get the rig back up a bit make make it look a bit flush with the oh if you have this problem by the way if your um, uh, selection thing doesn't move any anymore press W that's a lot easier to work with and just find the ankle thing so it looks a bit more natural it doesn't look natural but a bit more natural whoa I doesn't want don't want to select you my friend well the ankle looks really fucked up um, that's better I think I hope it does and making making a nice render isn't that easy always it's like a lot of trial and error as I said and after some time you make it you make a nice looking render as I did for uh, a banner I made yesterday actually the render look nice but the banner looks really fucked up it's not always not always looking good I don't know if this one is going to look good but we'll see by the way you get back to the um, camera because inside the camera we can see what will be the end result <laughs> If you find me being a little bit too silent, by the way, I'm I'm, I'm speeding it up, but I'm like really silent right now. That's because I'm concentrating. I, I used to have a um a gaming channel before this channel, and there was like a lot of talking evol evolving, a lot of talking, but um I st I, I quit that one because it's it just it's, it failed. It's it's hard, but I'm almost. Uh, the same amount of subs uh, again with the old channel on the old channel it, it took me three fucking years to to make to get to the amount of subs I had 92 subs in the end it's like yeah you would say nothing but it took me three fucking years and it was like amazing for me I, I loved it I loved it I loved it to do but now I have this channel and I think it's, it's growing way faster at least I'm sure about that <laughs> Uh, although the um, amount of subs coming it's, it's it's a little bit stopping right now but well I don't I don't really care I'm just I'm doing this because I, I like to do um, Minecraft things Minecraft related things so, so. Uh, can I please move you thank you so thanks for your support man Put this arm up a little bit and we can make this um, wrist, uh, his wrist like go more like this, throwing it to the back. It looks, it looks cool. By the way, um, you can see his, uh, the sword is in his hand right now, but if I move his hand like, uh, like this, the sword isn't in it. So what we can do is we open up the, um, uh, the rig again. By the way, I'm going to uh, man. Uh, and get the sword where's the sword this sword and put that on um, left hand attachment make it a, ch a child of left hand attachment so now if we select the left hand and we move it the sword is will stay in it yes yeah, that, that's a that's a pretty awesome thing and I want all these things to be a child of this fence or something like that. We, 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 we. Boom. There you go. It's a lot cleaner. So I think. What? Wait. What if we delete this one? Put this one down a little bit, or maybe getting it a little bit to my side. 
and now putting it down. This looks, uh, looks better actually. Putting this one down a bit. We have to see. We have to see a little bit ground. So. Um, not not get into this one. This looks actually rather nice, in my opinion, by the way. But uh, not everything is included in this um, in the frame right now. So what we have by scrolling, it's not. It's a little bit bumpy, not, not, and we don't get a perfect view. So we are going to use the thing here on top. That thing works perfect, and we might want to do this so it looks a bit more natural. Thing like this. Ah, it looks awesome. Looks amazing. I'm not talking a lot, but this looks amazing. Yeah. So what we have to do right now is, um, if you have your Lightroom, I'm not going to give it away by the by the way, because Mondays will hate me for that, and I love Mondays. Seriously, Mondays, you're amazing. We get to um, edit render settings. Now I don't know a lot about render settings, but I just have all these things turned on. I probably have to turn them off because something but I have my um, uh, width and height on 920 by 1080 which is a full HD probably like 1080p just 1080p so and if you when you have done that you can go and select a render view which um, renders out the, the in editor mode so you can uh, see if you did everything right and yeah my PC is quite fast with it, and you can see if the lighting is correct. But if you if you press this uh, one in the middle right here, you're going to render it out like perfect. But we don't want it yet because we don't know if the render is good and if the lighting is good. So, we can see something fucked up right there in the face. <laughs> I don't know what it is. So I'm going to solve that in a moment. And it's feet uh, over. This feed over here it's looking a little bit a little bit fucked up. So what we need to get out of this mode. We want to whoa This is hard hard life of a designer. So and make it more flush with the ground and if you want like that ah looks amazing. This food is like literally stuck in the ground. Like uh, still, yeah, still a little bit. Does it look fucked up right now? Yes, it does. Does it still? Looks a little bit off. Ah, uh, better. So what we did uh, wrong right here is the face. Yeah, we 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 know it's a face. Get the extrude mesh head and put it a little bit to the front and now it looks good probably at least I hope it does so uh, render view again I'm lucky my PC is fast with this I can render out 1080p in with it under a minute like a full screen under a minute with a v3 Mondays Lightroom uh, so that's amazing I, I, lo I love my PC for that I thought the, li the lighting was actually rather good for this one already, so I'm going to leave it, but um, if you want to change it up, you can select everything, including the camera, except for the light, uh, for the uh, Lightroom, or the Lightroom only, but it's hard to see. Uh, the, and you can press R to rotate everything, and you can rotate it to uh, match the, the, li the light. Uh, light points uh, like the, where the light is coming from and I think it looks nice on this one already so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press render the picture viewer and this will render out everything like perfect <sighs> so guys if you follow these instructions you made yourself a very nice render so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video if you did leave a like um, if you didn't, leave a like, leave a dislike, I know you were here, if you did something with that. Leave a comment if you like it, and I'll probably see you guys at the end of this video at least. We're going, still going to wait for it to render out, but 
I'm just saying goodbye already. You probably want to see it. <laughs> uh, I'm saying goodbye already. Um, by the way, I'm sorry for not having a video uploaded uh, last week. I was just too busy. I, I was on holiday. Yeah. I have a life too. Yes, yes it does. Yes, it, uh, yes I does. Yes I does. This one is taking over a minute. What is this sorcery? Is my computer getting worse or something? Probably not. It's only a few weeks old. Um, but yeah, I have a life. I couldn't keep up with my schedule. I'm sorry for that. Also, I'm sorry for all of the grammar and vocabulary mistakes I made in this video. I am very, very sorry. Probably in the next tutorial video, I'm going to um, work this one out as a wallpaper in Photoshop. But until that time, bye.